正体別の集合全員下車 All white collar workers, the salarymen, were expected to be loyal to their companies. And some managers drove this point home with military fervor. The paternalism of large companies and the promise of jobs for life ensured commitment. Labor unions were excluded. Managers and workers were taught to share the same goals. The government gave special priority to shipbuilding. Japanese engineers studied how Americans had mass-produced cargo ships during the war. Then they copied them, prefabricating ships section by section. At Nagasaki, Suezo Uchida, who once made battleships, worked seven days a week. Sometimes I worked very late up to 10 or 11 o'clock at night. The worst situation, which happened quite often, was that we worked so late that we had to stay overnight at the shipyard instead of going home. That's how we used to work. Thinking back now, I worked too much. <laughs> My source of energy was alcohol. As soon as we left work, we rushed into a bar close by and sat down on beer crates. We made a lot of noise, enjoying ourselves. We had a drink and a snack, but we also discussed our plans for the following day. Then we had a few more rounds. Wages were low, and their ships were cheap. With their new methods, the Japanese could build ships in seven months that took up to two years in the West. Foreign orders poured in, and shipbuilding became Japan's first post-war success story. The launching manager came to the ceremony with a short sword hidden under his jacket, strapped to his chest, so that he could commit harakiri if the launch failed. That's how seriously he took the launching. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>